Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. So I want to come on here and talk about, well, not really a lot of drama, but just some opinions that are going viral concerning Cardi B's new video. Unless you've been living under a rock, Cardi B dropped her latest single this past Friday, March 1st. And the single is called Like What? And um, I like it. I do. I thought that the visuals were definitely eaten, the outfits, the hair. That's one thing Hardy does when it comes to her music videos is that, you know, they definitely give you something visually. But a lot of people are kind of mixed on the song. Some people really like it. They feel like Hardy was definitely popping her shit. Other people feel like, mm, you know, it was a miss for them. But I personally, I liked it. And I think why I really liked it is because she did use that Missy Elliott beat, um, Is That Your Bitch? And that was the jam back in the day. So anybody bringing that Missy Elliott nostalgia is definitely going to be a hit for me. But like I said, a lot of people are mixed. A lot of people feel like, okay, it was okay. Or they like the visuals, but they don't really necessarily like the song. And so Joe Budden decided to give his opinion, as he should. You know, that's what we do here. We're commentators. And so he basically said that he feels he feels like the girl rap wave era is officially over. So he was not feeling the single. Um, he basically said that a lot of times, he said that a lot of the labels are tired. Um, these girls are not really bringing it to the table. They're spending a lot more on these girls um, as far as budgets and trying to get brand deals and fly them here and there and getting them, you know, their bodies done. And they're not really seeing a return on their investment. Then he also went on to say that he believes that Cardi B is scared to drop an album because, as we can all see, it's been over six years since she dropped her main album, Invasion of Privacy. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what Joe Budden had to say about the situation. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Y'all ain't going to want to hear it from me, but the girl rapper wave is over. Damn. Damn. Oh, come on. Just telling you what it is. I'm normally a few months ahead with this stuff. Sometimes a few years ahead with this stuff. When you say oh, why do you say that, nigga? You just yeah. said it was the, the girl, the girl, the girl rapper wave is is finito. How you just changed? So. You just said a couple of weeks why? ago that it was lit. I wonder why. No, I'm, I said the cream rises to the top, so Lotto shall remain. She will. Uh, Flo Millie shall remain. Got it. Uh, Rhapsody will always be there, but she wasn't really a part of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. But all of that, go find a girl, send her to Columbia, get it done, put her in the studio with fucking Mike Will or any one of them niggas. Mm -hmm. All of that, planting the girl in the scene, getting the record and it taking off, that wave is over. I think labels are looking at it like very few of y'all are selling records. It's too much work to get your coin back. We got to go do brand deals all over the world with y'all. Y'all are expensive. Some of y'all are annoying. And none of these records are working. But none of these records are working. But, and let me, now let me get to Cardi B. Cardi B is afraid. And I'm tired of just nobody saying it. Cardi B is scared to come out. It don't take this long to come out. They recently just found every year where she plugged that she was coming. Dating back to 2019. It's like six different slides in different years of you saying, hey, I have something coming. Even this freestyle was previewed a year ago. For real? Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah this was, she was on live from somewhere and played this shit. This ain't, this ain't new off the stove. Mm. Offset the other day in his story. Yeah. Yeah, I wish my baby would just drop. Mm. I thought what that was part of the What are you afraid setup? of? Right? And I'm just thinking about how Cardi B has reacted to uh, tweets that she dislikes, just any comment that she dislikes. I, I think that she's afraid to put a project out mm. because the wave of, if you put a project out and it don't do what it's supposed to do, you're donezo. Rates go down. And, Prices go down. And not just that, she got a high bar to keep up with with her mm -hmm. last project. Exactly. So now you got added pressure. You got a, a wave that's 
saturated right now with uh, women rappers who are killing shit, and you got an, an arguable classic album to follow up. So it's, it's double the pressure for her. The problem, the problem I have with what Joe was saying because he extends a lot of the R and B acts grace. Oh, you come take it, come out in six years, or even Kendrick. I heard him say. You know, give grace to as far as you know. We're waiting for the project. Yeah, Six years, five years. They, they, they aren't. That. I want to be clear. But I, Kendrick is the exception, not the rule. Got it. R and B rules are also not rap rules. Got it. I'm saying, as far as the labels going to get Meg, eh, Cardi, and eh, Nicki really don't count because she's such a staple. But even that with Cardi, right? Like a little birdie had told me, "Fucking, I'm gonna just spill it." That whenever Nicki was trying to drop. Or whenever Cardi was trying to drop, Nikki was trying to drop. And that's why Nikki kept changing dates. Don't quote me on nothing. But Nikki changed that date like five times trying to match up with whenever Cardi was dropping. And that was supposed to be the big, I mean, if we just as consumers looking at it, that was supposed to be the 50 Kanye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that I feel like would have helped Cardi. Mm-hmm. Nikki, mm-hmm. I think, was going to sell whatever she was going to sell, regardless. Mm-hmm. But Cardi, I think, would have gotten a big boost and just catapult from that marketing. It didn't happen, and then Nikki dropped. I ain't spoke to nobody up there at Atlantic, but I think Cardi backed out of that. I think she ran from that. And now we're about to be in March, spring, mm-hmm. summer, year six. Mm. It got to be something this year, this summer. It's year. It has to be six album. Album yeah. by the summer. It has to be. All right. So you guys just saw what Joe Budden had to say, and you know, again, Joe is definitely entitled to his opinion. But it's kind of weird because at one point he seemed to be a big Cardi B fan, and now it's like he's kind of switched up. Um, but you know, again, to each its own. I'm not going to say that I disagree with Joe. Um, I do feel like it's been a long time. And it even took me a while to realize that she hasn't had a full album out in a while. Um, Six years is a long time. I really feel like she should have dropped an album when she dropped that song Up. I think Up was such a good single. And it was just her, because y'all know I'm over these features. It was just her on the track. Up did really well. I think at that point, she should have dropped her album But I also understand that she was going through a lot, dealing with pregnancies, breakups and makeups and everything else. And let's not forget, she has in between that been dropping a lot of a lot of really good singles that have popped, you know, like WAP and um, things like that. So she's had a lot of songs over the years in those six years, a lot of singles with featured artists that have done good for her. But I think at this point, people want a full album. And she is working on an album. I don't know when she's going to release it, but I know she is working on an album. But um, I feel like at the end of the day, I don't think Joe is saying anything wrong. I do feel like the female rap wave is dying out. Like people are tired of the regurgitated formula. You know, of course, Nicki will always have a space because she's been in the game so long. Um, He said people like Rhapsody, she's been in the game a long time. But I think a lot of people are tired of like just the repackaged version of Cardi B, the repackaged version of Nicki Minaj. You know, as soon as the new girls come out, they're running to get their bodies done. They're rapping about the same thing. Everybody's coochie is so wet. Their sex is so good. Like we need new material. And I think that's what it is. And it's not just even the female rappers, even with the men. Like we're tired of hearing about, you know, drilling and killing other black men, you know, my, my chain and my jewelry. We need new material. We need a new vibe in hip hop. Hip hop is definitely dying. People are not buying music like that. People are not downloading and streaming music like that. I think people are burnt out. And until you hear something fresh that just gets you, you're not into it. You're going back and listening to people's old music or you're finding underground artists that are like really making music that hits your soul. You know, people are really going through it and they're going to be more mindful of where they po- focus their attention, what they put their money towards. You know, people are getting laid off, the tech sector, you know, regular people who work nine to fives, you know, people's money are not money like that. So they're going to be very, very specific as to where they gear their attention to. If they're going to concerts, they want to make sure it's somebody that's going to take them through a range of emotions. So I think that, you know, the rap girls do definitely need to step their game up and put more into their music. But again, this was just a single. This was just a taste of what she's working on. 
Hopefully, once her album drops, she'll have a wide variety of stuff on her album. But I do agree with Joe that she has been scared to drop because it's been six years. And I think part of that is just the anxiety. She did so well with her first album. The things that she got based off of the invasion of privacy, that's technically not the norm for most new artists. I mean, she won a Grammy. She was everywhere that year. Everybody was giving her props from Oprah to Denzel, you know, uh, The Breakfast Club. Like, how do you top that with your second album? And the Grammy goes to Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B. So I can get why Cardi's nervous and she has anxiety behind dropping it. And then plus, you know, a lot of times social media makes it where it's not fun. Like if you're not doing this and you're not number one on the billboard, if you're not charting, people act like you should just roll over and die. It's like everything you put out is not necessarily going to be a hit. And I think a lot of the pressure and the anxiety and the stress come from the fans and the different fandoms on social media. But I think at this point, she does need to, you know... Toughen up and understand that she has a lot of hardcore fans out here who just want her to drop an album and who will support it no matter what. So hopefully she will have something soon because we all know spring and summer is right around the corner and I for sure need some new stuff to dance to and turn up to. So, you know, again, Joe's definitely entitled to his opinion. I don't disagree with everything he said. He did make some good points. Um, but I definitely think the feeling needs to be brought back in music and especially in the female space. We, we need more. We need more. And I just think that feeling needs to come back in music and in hip hop in general. So anyways, with that being said, y'all, I want to know y'all's opinion on this. Are you guys feeling Cardi B's new song? Like I said, the visuals are everything. I'm definitely feeling that. So let me know what you guys think about her new video. Like what? And, you know, do you agree or disagree with what Joe Budden had to say? Because Joe Budden feels like, you know what? The female rap wave is out of here. Do you feel like it's, you know, dwindling or about to be obsolete soon? Or do you feel like, you know, Joe doesn't know what he's talking about and there's more females coming down the woodwork? <laughs> you know, we got the sexy reds and, you know, the JTs and stuff like that. There's a place for everybody, right, at the hip hop table. But I think in order for people to really sell and um, make a lasting impression, they're going to have to put more energy and soul into their music. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.